It's a little more stale in the bag, I have to let you know. I think I'm fine. Mm. Do you want one? Oh yeah, more donut for us. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I guess we should greet the town. Fair enough. Wait, when did we say we were going to meet Bryce? I uh, are you yelling? I thought they were leaving. Oh. <laughs> well, actually, I, I think they'll find us. Yeah. Maybe we can just stand in the middle of the town and go, Bryce, until you, until they show up. Yeah. Well, in front of Broad Barn. Okay, I have a question about this Broad Barn yeah. thing. Broad. Is Broad Barn like, uh, like the name of an establishment, or is Broad Barn? An place. actual broad, it's like a, a very broad very, barn. Very long barn. It's a very big barn. What if it's a street? One direction. Yeah. Well, what we if, didn't clarify, did we? What if it's like a tavern named the Broad? I don't know. I got kind of confused broad in his barn, delivery. Barn. I bet we can ask the guy downstairs. Sorry. Right. Yeah. 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 He seemed nice last night. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We go downstairs. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'll follow for this. <laughs> <laughs> so, <clears throat> it's a Zork game. Yeah. We go down. I know, <laughs> apparently. <laughs> All right, so you, so you head downstairs uh, to the the only other real location within the uh, the uh, Mead and Feed, Feed and Mead Tavern. Go either way. Um, there's Croot still there off to the side in what appears to be um, one very very dirty and ashy civilian who is currently. Like slowly scarfing a meal, kind of for the thousand-yard stare. Uh, looks like they had been probably close to the action and chaos the evening before. Um, as you walk down, Kruk kind of looks across and goes, "Hey, I see you're awake. Did you eat breakfast? Yes, please. Yes, please. All right, it'll be about an hour, because it's just me. <laughs> an hour? An hour. All right. It's just me. Do you want some help? I mean. I'll come help you. Oh. Come on! Come oh, on! I'll go in for this if it means a faster breakfast. All right. So the two of you jump in with Croot um, in what is a not very well kept kitchen, but functional. You know, the uh, the gristle, who knows how long it's been there, might add to the flavor, who knows? A rating for the city of Los Angeles. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we'll put it at B in Panorama City. Yeah! Um, <laughs> Wow, so, that was an in joke. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, so you guys go ahead and help out. It does manage to cut down the the time for breakfast separation, but uh, eventually food is presented. I want to after we've cooked, I'm going to switch out his salt for his sugar. Oh boy. Make a slight of hand check. I want to see if I see this. Mm. Mm. I don't do I. You're, you're too caught up in the in the, the meal making. I'm so. 19. Oh yeah, I definitely don't see this. Yeah. And neither does Crook. As you manage to do so swiftly, practiced like you've done this before in many other establishments in the past, maybe. <laughs> um, but yes. So, with that, after you, we cooked, right? Gave <laughs> yeah. us all diabetes. Nope. It's great. Yeah. <laughs> all Life right. So, are going to taste real weird. Yeah. <laughs> so, as you guys uh, finish your breakfast, finish your meal, um, the rest of the day is yours. For if they are as hungry as they seem, regardless of the. Massive volume they've acquired through the evening. I don't know how many the number is or how hungry they are. Take too long, there may not be much left to find. So we'll get this stuff and head right out. Sorry, right. my curiosity gets the best of me. Always, you are talking about buff buffalo creatures or something. But these, we saw these uh, beasts on the outskirts of town. Do you know they looked like a sort of brown furred beast of burden type creature? Do you know what those animals are? Right. Yes. Uh, the the the, uh, the valley oryx. Valyorex. Valyorex. Cows. Okay. Got it. Got it. Thank you. All right. Well, we should get ready for the road. Agreed. Yes. Walk into the store. Was it hit at all? Was this store that we're going into destroyed at all? No. This was far enough west. It was mainly just a few buildings on the eastern side. Uh, Coming from where the woods were, it seemed like they were using sort of cover of. of tree and canopy upon the incursion, and then immediately just assaulted, kind of part way into the eastern part of the city, burned it from the middle, and then used the flames to escape out the back. What were you about to say? Bryce. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, speaking of the. Are you all right? The or- sorry, just, just, just a lot of my mind. 
Uh, speaking of the orcs, I asked you yesterday if you'd heard if any of the farmers had had their cattle hit. Have you heard that yet? Uh, I, I could ask around. I mean, it does happen on occasion. Ah, uh, the, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. We'll ask on our way out. All right. It's good, it's good. Very well. It's good. Hey, uh, Kayla. Anyway. Yeah? Um, I don't know why if I have... If you excuse me, I do have something to get to. Of course, oh, of course. Please, yes. Um, but good luck. And, um... Godspeed. Have fun dealing with the dick. Yeah. <laughs> I'll do my best. Bryce turns around and leaves. <laughs> yeah. Did I recognize Starosta Kosh? Did he seem like the type that would have made a little side trip down to. Because uh... <laughs> he seems like the type. <laughs> Was that a. Character make a, a make yeah, I know. I'm like, I feel like I've learned Make something. an intelligence check. <laughs> I am filing. I'm putting a wall between that. I can't read your dice at all. Uh, intelligence. 18. 18? Um, the robed coloring is what caught you, and the hair, uh, the specific, like, slicked and then kind of part comb, um, you have seen this individual before. You were younger, um, maybe like eight or so years ago, eight or nine years.